2,000 years ago, the ancient Greeks, they all sat down together and decided that they'd done enough. <laughs> <laughs> they'd given the world so much maths, philosophy, science, that now they could like take it easy for a little bit, focus on their true passion, yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> I remember hearing about the earthquake in Turkey. I remember hearing about the earthquake in Turkey and running panicked to Google to make sure that Greece had not been affected and I could still tell that joke. <laughs> I was in a car crash recently. It's okay, I had surgery yesterday, everything's fine. I had the car removed. <laughs> the only reason that I voted for Brexit, the only reason, there's only one, the only reason I voted for it is I thought it might, just maybe, bring Margaret Thatcher back. <laughs> Coincidentally, I've been feeling pretty disillusioned with politics as of late. I find the events of January 6th and the cheaper knockoff of Brazilian January 8th quite striking. <laughs> you have often the most disenfranchised, the poorest in society, entering into what is often the most decadent, the most beautiful building where the elites sort of rule the country from. And I think it really lays a, a, a divide in our society quite there. But it's made me gain so much respect for Scotland, my adopted homeland, because they have stayed true to the working class every man by having their government be in the single ugliest building <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> About 10 years ago, my friend came up to me and he told me that the leader of North Korea was very sick. I said, Kim Jong-il? He said, yes, very much so. <laughs>